Hi guys, guy one two three four five six seven eight nine zero here, and um, I just wanted to give a quick update on the quadratic grapher that I'm doing. Now, of course, this isn't as small as it could be or as fast, but hell, it does the job. Um, basically, you got your x squared term right here. You got your x term over here, and uh, you got your constant just going straight into the place where you add them all up, right over here. Um, these will do both addition and subtraction eventually. Uh, just my inverters kind of didn't really work in uh, this version of Minecraft because uh, of the bud glitch, which kind of caused some of the pistons I was using to invert to stay on when they should be off. Um, but other than that, uh, yeah, it's fully functional as it is, except for the graphing function, which the only reason I'm not doing that at the moment is because doing a decoder for that, that right there, is a huge pain in the ass, and I don't feel like doing that right now. Anyway, so it will do fractions, or at least decimals, kind of. It will do 1 16th, 1 8th, 1 fourth and one half and then it'll start doing whole numbers and the only way you get those uh, fractions is through uh, the shift register over here and another one over there which uh, act as uh, fractional constants um, basically um, and to divide a binary number by two I'm not doing any other dividing basically because dividing by anything other than 2, 4, 8, or any 2 to the n uh, sort of number would require an actual divider, and those are rather large and uh, difficult. But, um, yeah, and also the other reason is because graphing it on a grapher which only does natural numbers would... Oh, which only does natural numbers would be uh, difficult because usually when you divide a number by 3 or 5, unless it is 3, 5 or something like that, some multiple of that, it, it'll just come out as some ugly fraction which you really can't graph in a game like Minecraft too easily. I'm sure you can and it would just require a lot of pixels a lot a lot a lot of pixels and I don't want a lot a lot of pixels because really the maximum you could have is uh, let's see it would be uh, 64 really you could have 64 vertical pixels and given that the range of this is enormous and already and making it ha it have fractions or just besides those but those aren't need graphed anyway those are just basically kind of pointless but having those when your outputs can go up to this number plus a uh, bunch of those I'm not really sure what the maximum output of this is but um, having that would just be enormous and the decoder would also be enormous basically doing anything other than this would get very very large although um, there are dividers which you can do or multipliers which you can do which uh, which um, basically do exactly what this does only it uses shift register to shift it over instead of what I'm using where I have a system of AND gates which uh, cancel uh, the terms I'm inputting, which each time you can kind of see, uh, this is the uh, term I'm inputting. It's shifting over one full letter every time. You can kind of see, so it basically does it with a shift register instead of physically moving it. Um, but that requires a bit of actually it, it takes a lot of thinking and I'm not willing to do that um, yeah okay what else 
That's about it. Anyway, um, I should be done fairly soon. Uh, well, that depends how lazy I get with the decoding function. Um, oh, and the display, right. The display is basically an AND gate hooked up to a RS NOR right here, uh, which is hooked up to a reset line hooked up to a pixel. I'm not sure if the pixels will be pistons or not. We will see. Anyway, it's pretty small, but they're going to have to be grouped this far apart because to have the vertical columns not be inverted every other time, you have to have them an odd number apart. So it would be one, two, three. Yeah. You have to have an odd number apart. So yeah, uh, any questions, just comment, love to answer them, um, and yeah, if you have any questions about the uh, actual components, I'll do a tutorial if you ask, uh, and that's about it, thanks guys, bye.